at MCW Anniversary. Fans were left shocked and appalled after the heinous acts of... Whoa, 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 heinous? J Jarvis? Get out of here, Lindsay. You're clearly too biased. The winners write history. I'm taking over. At Anniversary, the man who built this business, Slex, became the only three-time MCW World Heavyweight Champion when he single-handedly defeated that idiot, Buddy Matthews. Single-handedly? You heard me, Lindsay. And then 24 hours later, we saw the formation of the greatest group in MCW history, the Icons. They sent Buddy Matthews packing with a well-time assist from, uh, uh, me. Uh, yes, where was I? At MCW Icons, we find out who the true heavyweight is. It's Caveman Ugg going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the man who can challenge for any title of his choice, Tommy Knight. Robbie Thorpe is looking to establish himself as a major player in MCW. The gift has been presented with a fight. He will be facing a man who has his sights set on the World Championship. The Eternal Edward Dusk. At Anniversary, Mitch Waterman made a surprise return to the Thornbury Theatre, defeating Jarvis. Why, hey, 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 Mitch Waterman is a coward. I mean, what type of person sneaks out unannounced? Uh, if Mitch likes surprises so much, then he'll love facing Shadow Alley. <laughs> Who will he face? Snap, crackle, crackle, snap. You won't know until that bell rings, Mitchy. The Inter-Commonwealth title is on the line as Delta takes on Lucky O'Leary. You want to talk lucky? Delta's lucky I never got a rematch for my championships. She's been ducking me, Lindsay. It's ridiculous. You know what? I'm moving on to the next match. In tag team action, the former champions, the Perea, have decided that one beating isn't enough for them. So they have no chance when they step up to face the new tag team champions, Rocky Minero and Anna Brooks, the Icons. And in our main event, the Icon of MCW, your MCW World Heavyweight Champion, the Business Slex, puts his championship on the line as he defends against... Wait, no, this, wait, this can't be <laughs> World Champion Slex defends his title against Golden Boy, Emin Uzma. Saturday, March 30, at the Thornbury Theatre, it's MCW Icons. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the one true home of Australian pro wrestling. Welcome to the Thornbury Theatre. We are sold out and tonight we are going to celebrate the cornerstones of the industry. Tonight, it's all about the icons. My name's Simon Tackler, joined as always by Nimzazor. And you can see their gratuitous entrance in a bright pink Hummer. Rocky Monero and Adam Brooks, our MCW Tag Team Champions and Jarvis somehow associating himself with these dastardly men. Oh, Jarvis arriving in style alongside the icons. We're going to see all three icons in action tonight. Rocky Monero and Adam Brooks taking on the Perea. And of course, our world champion, the business Slex, taking on Emin Usman. Look at these guys rocking up like no one else has ever done here at the Thornbury Theatre in style. Look at that Hummer. What do you think that thing cost him? <laughs> I'm not going to dignify that with a response. Our opening contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen. I've got some important news to give you before the show starts. So, Kat, you can jump to the back. I'll take it from here, love. Thank you. Oh, what is going on? Oh, don't, don't do that. Come on. It's Jarvis. Got to respect the man. He can do it all. Well, what's he doing? Oh, whatever he wants. He has no business being here. He's got all the business to do whatever he wants. 
I don't understand what his association with the icons is. All right, all right, all right. Settle down, Dimwit. Settle down, settle down. Oh, a big thank you, Jarvis chant ringing out in the Thornbury Theatre. That's what they're saying, is it? Thank you, Jarvis. Oh, I think it sounds a little bit different. Nice. All right, let's stop it there. Don't ask your opinion, so it's fine. I've got some important news from General Manager Rocky Monero. I mean, as you all know, he is now one half of your tag team champions. And well, and well, since he's a champion and he also is a general manager, his time's a bit split. So it means that he needs someone else to have eyes and ears around the show to make sure it runs properly and well. Well. I would like to introduce you to me, your new junior vice president of general management. Oh, Jarvis has had a promotion. Work hard and you'll get to the top, kids. He's and well, this is a warning to everyone in the back. If they try to put their hands on me, there will be repercussions and I won't take things lightly. So. Let's get started with the first match. It is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the MCW Heavyweight Championship. Wait a minute. Oh, kicking it off with the main event? Oh, oh it's, it's icons, Nims. Big things are happening, starting with the world title. And your man. referee is Edwin. This is remarkable. We're starting off with the world title match. Introducing first. Well, here we go, Nims, not wasting any time. Our challenger making his way to the ring. getting his first world title shot here in MCW. This is a bona fide dream match, I can tell you that. Absolutely, and it's all thanks to the icons. We saw Slex, he, he accepted this match. He wanted a challenger right off the bat. This is their namesake event. This is icons and the business Slex, the man who holds the world title, willing to put his money where his mouth is. The title on the line, first match of the night, first match of icons. Emin Osman versus Slex. I will say this, you are talking a little bit of truth and that Slex is going to be a fighting champion and my oh my, this is going to be a hell of an opportunity for Emin Osman. Of course, he's held the MCW into Commonwealth Championship, held that proudly, had a great reign, but this is his chance to head straight to the top. The richest prize, the MCW world title will be on the line tonight. One of the most prestigious titles in Australian professional wrestling. And Emin Osman could be leaving with it right now. Thank God that's over. Introducing your champion. Slex. The World Heavyweight Champion Slex. And you can hear the chorus of boos from the Thornbury Theatre. I never thought I would see the day where a man so decorated would be so, so absolutely hated by the MCW faithful. Jarvis is correct. He did mention that Slex is a three-time World Heavyweight Champion. The only man in MCW history to hold that title three times. And you know what, Nims? That's all that matters. This isn't about making friends. This isn't a popularity contest. It is pro wrestling and Slex. Three-time world champion. You're reigning MCW world champion. The centerpiece of the icons. The world champion, Slex. Emin Osman is absolutely not backing down from our world champion. <laughs> 
hates saying that he's our world champion now, and I never thought that would ever happen when I talk oh. about Slex. Oh, look at this show of respect between a veteran, an icon in Slex. And look at the show. And this is exactly the sort of respect that he's getting from the Thornbury faithful. Introducing first, he is the reigning, defending, the only three-time, three-time MCW heavyweight champion, the business selects. Slexer said, this is not personal, it's just business. And look at the fans. And introducing his challenger, he is a former Inter-Commonwealth Champion because of me, Emin Asman! Hey, Jarvis, Emin Asman held that title for 287 he days. the truth. Oh. He's the second longest reign in Inter-Commonwealth title history. And you know what, he probably, he's gonna end Slex's title right now. The chance of Golden Boy ringing out tonight. One of the most popular stars here in MCW, Emin Azman. Can't take that away from him. And here we go. Our opening contest for the world title. How good is this? Senior referee Edmund Lay gets the match started off as Slex locks up and powers Emin Azman into the corner. Look at that big show of power from the business, Slex. That's right, one of the most powerful competitors in all of pro wrestling is Slex. This man can do it all. What an athlete. The power, the agility, the speed. I think Emin Osman is outmatched here tonight against Slex. But look at that pace from Emin Osman. Quick knife edge chop to Slex. Slex oh, did not oh. like that and powered him back into the corner. But there's that quickness from Emin Osman with some vicious elbows and shots of the midsection. And you know what? That might be Emin's only chance to use the one advantage he has over pretty much any competitor. And that speed, you just saw it there, getting out of the way of that chop. Slex just chopped yeah. the ring post. He could have done a bit of damage there. But he seems to have incensely fired up Emin. Oh, Emin is just absolutely going for it. What a hot start from the Golden Boy. Reversal from the Irish Whip. Oh, changing direction is Emin. There's the quickness oh, and the speed. Hurricane Rana caught by the business. Oh, but Emin escapes again. We see the agility of Emin Azman here. When he was Inter Commonwealth Champion, he defended that title in def with absolute grace and quickness. Here we go. Oh, top rope Hurricane Rana from the Golden Boy. Picture perfect drop kick from Emin Azman as Slex retreats to the outside. Slex doing the right thing, catching a breather. And of course, the business, he's an icon. Golden Boy sees, sees Slex to the outside. Charges through the ropes, but Slex. Oh, oh my Slex. goodness, the power of Slex just catching Emin. Oh, and suplex he, onto the apron. Emin Azman could be out. We can't see him from our vantage point, but Slex. Slex has just decimated the golden boy, Emin Osman. Slex is an icon. Slex has been doing this for decades, and every year we see something new, something unbelievable from the business. He caught a man in midair in a suplex position. Is there anything the business can't do? Emin Osman currently on the receiving end of a, a business beating here at the moment. The disrespect from oh. Slex with a knife edge chop to the corner. Open palm strike two. Slex knows exactly what he's doing. So those massive hands of Slex just beating Emin like a drum here tonight. And it feels like Slex is wrestling with an extra chip on his shoulder, if that's even possible to say. He wants to, wants to teach Emin a lesson Well, tonight. there's no need to push aside our referee, Edwin Lay, and Emin is fighting back. Oh, the power though of Slex, too much for Emin. And there's the quickness of Emin Osman. Oh, and there's the elbow of the business. Like a runaway freight train, Slex knocks, knocks him off his feet. Oh, now Slex, look at the disrespect to the... Oh, that was uncalled for.
That is absolutely uncalled for. You know what's uncalled for, Nims? You and all these fans turning on Slex. The first chance you get, he wins a title. Tom Hoppy syndrome. You don't want to see him succeed. We last saw Slex in singles competition against Buddy Matthews, who was, of course, our MCW World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, and who won that match, Nims? With, with some outside interference and some help, Slex ended that reign Slex from Buddy Matthews. is our world champion, and all these Fairweather fans, they were there on the journey, but they don't want to see him on top. They want the hot new thing. They've turned on Slex. Eamon Osman. Trying to capital, just ignoring you on purpose there, Simon. Just out of, uh, look at the power of Slex. But Emin oh. Osman. Military press from the business. And just th throws down Emin Osman like a dirty chip wrapper. Here we go, Our first pin of the match. And that's just a two count. Slex has some issues there with Edwin Lays. Look, I will agree, Nims. Emin Osman, we've seen him, you know, on his journey to become Com into Commonwealth champ. What he's been going through over the past few months as well, trying to regain gold here in MCW. He is one of our top competitors, but he's not on the level of an icon just yet. He's certainly got the heart and soul and the fight of someone that does, though. Emin Osman gets shot into the ropes. Quick reversal there, and a... Oh, Slex blocking the kick, catching Emin. We know what this is. Return on investment by the business into the cover. And just a bare kick out at 2.9 from Emin Asman. What is it with Emin? More guts than brains. This guy just won't stay down. More guts than brains. The guy's just got guts full stop. You're going to need to absolutely take him to the woodshed if you want to put Emin Asman out. This man has got heart. He's got soul. We've seen him overcome so many obstacles. When he won that Intercom World title, he lasted through a month-long tournament and won a three-way ladder match. Absolutely. Emin's been through the wars, but he's in his toughest right now. And again, let's assume, let's assume maybe Jarvis gave Slex the heads up. Hey, you're going to go on first tonight. Slex was ready. Was Emin ready to come out first? Was he prepared right Emin now? is always ready, know. as you see, with know. a flurry of elbows to the face of the business, Slex. Emin Osman is unleashed. He's unhinged. Come on, Edwin. That's got to be a disqualification. And oh. Slex! Oh. Slex, with all the rage and might, has just knocked Emin Osman off his feet. Look at that. Slex taking 10 to give one back and just dropping Emin like a sack of you-know-what. Sets him up. Oh. Sunset flip, Emin can get the title, oh. Emin! Just a two count there, Emin Asban was so close. Emin somehow still fighting, still going. Oh, both men jockeying for some position here. Oh, no! A monster DDT from Emin Osman. Both men are on. Both men are down, and Slex. Slex once again retreating to the safety of outside. It looks like it. Emin Osman off the second rope. A huge kick to the face of Slex. Trying to get a look at Emin Osman's face from our position. He may be bleeding. He's gone absolute hammer and tongue here tonight. Oh, Emin Osman. Misjudges that one. Misjudged that. May have gray Slex. Both men down. Emin. Oh, Emin's, Emin's back, back to his feet. Emin's back to his feet. Sending Slex in. Wanting to capitalize on that advantage that he's still got. And Emin is fired up. Oh, Slex looks we, rocked as well. We could be seeing one of the shortest MCW World Championship reigns. Emmons up top. Oh, no! A front huge splash. front splash! Kick out, Slex! <sighs> Kick out, Slex? Kick out, Look, Slex? It, it's, it's icons. We're at icons. We've got to have the icon retained. Can, I cannot believe the level of bias you. that you have. Towards those you filthy told me icons. Slex was your favorite wrestler, man. You've turned on him. Slex was my favorite wrestler. And you know what? For a lot of the, the sold out Thornbury Theatre, he was their favorite too. Yeah, and you and like them, you're fickle. Emin Osman, is oh, he no. setting up for KL Gold? 
The crowd knows this. Here it comes. Oh! oh, what a lariat from the business, just knocking Emmett out. Oh, here we go. Oh, the business bomb. The business bomb. That's got to do it. With some extra velocity, and it is. No. Not over. Oh, Did Emmett kick out? Emmett kicked out. Slex. Slex, not what he. Slex with some open palm strikes. Open palm strikes. Straight to the face of Emin Osman. Oh, wanting to make sure Emin's down. Oh, that is. was unnecessary. Unnecessary but legal, Nibs. Wasn't a close Here is fist. Your winner and still MCW heavyweight champion, Slex. Slex. Oh. Slex had that match won and chose to add a little bit of extra salt into the wound of Emin Asman. And once again, Slex reigns victorious. Wait a minute, that's, that's Tommy Knight. Slex and Tommy Knight were tag team champions together for 364 days. That, what, Tommy Knight is holding in his hands the guaranteed championship opportunity Anyone, any time, any title. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. What do you think you're doing, huh? What are you... Hold on a minute, hold on a... Hey, whoa, 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 don't get too close. Because that championship opportunity can easily be taken away with my promotion. So don't try anything, buddy. No, no, no. And what do you think you're doing out here anyway? He's just had a match. And actually, to think about it, you have a match too. So why don't you focus for that? Yeah? And maybe, hold on, I've got an idea, Slexi. I've got an idea. Maybe, just maybe, if he can win his match against Ugg tonight, he could have, could have a championship shot. But that's if, if you beat K-Man Ugg tonight. So, um, Let's hit Slex's music. Get out, Larry. Get out. Go on, get off. Get off. Hit his music. Production, what are you doing? Hit his music. Well, this has definitely upset the apple cart a little bit. Tommy Knight's guaranteed title shot. He won that opportunity last month at anniversary here at MCW. Not so guaranteed, it seems. And that wouldn't be fair. Jarvis, our junior vice president of general management, doing the right thing. You can't just hand out title matches. You've got to earn it here in MCW. And Tommy Knight earned that title shot any time he wants to cash in and get himself a shot at any belt. He just happened to have chosen his place. just forget about Ugg? Ugg and Tommy Knight are still wrestling tonight. Well, We've got a ranking order here, man. Well, either way, we're going to be seeing more of the icons in action tonight as they defend their titles up against the Perea. The Perea looking to regain what is rightfully theirs. Right now, though, let's send it back to the ring. Cat Wild standing by. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall! Introducing first. I'm almost lost for words, Nims, being this close to the gift. Robbie Thorpe, what a specimen. Robbie Thorpe, who's yet to get a win in MCW yet, hasn't quite found his groove as the gift. Look, he might be missing something, I don't know, but I think tonight's the night. Robbie Thorpe, the gift. Here at Icon. What a time to make that statement. And his opponent. Edward 
Dusk has been on an absolute tear. He's only had one singles loss in 2023 here at MCW, back again in singles competition. Not only one of the most physical specimens here at MCW, but he's also great in between the years. A lot of mind games from Edward Dusk. He was trained by Danny Psycho, the first MCW champion. And since then, Dusk has grown in stature here at MCW. Dusk, one of the great competitors here. We mention it all the time. People always focus on his vicious side, but he's a tremendous technical wrestler. And like you said, very smart, very cerebral. A lot of mind games from the eternal one. And I'll tell you what, there's always a mood change when Dusk is in the arena. A chill in the air. Just unsettling is this dude. A very seasoned competitor too. He's been in three ballroom brawls here in MCW. Tell you what, we've mentioned a lot how the shape that Edward Dusk is in. He keeps getting more physical, putting on more muscle, more size, but he's in there with Robbie Thorpe, who is a giant. He's definitely outgunned by the gift, Robbie Thorpe. Here we go, lock up. Robbie Thorpe, of course, comes to us from the UK. He's got that great British technical style, but Dusk just battling off with a forearm. That's one way to do it. Edward Dusk is a man that feeds off violence, though. Yeah, he's asking the gift for a free shot. Robbie Thorpe doesn't want to get into Edward Dusk's mind games here as they lock up once again. Oh, great hammerlock from the gift. But again, just an elbow, a strike to escape from Edward Dusk. Robbie Thorpe was out-wrestled last month here in the Thorpe Room Theatre by Mitch Waterman. So he's picked up a couple of new tricks here, using his power up against Dusk. The agility of Edward Dusk. Oh, huge forearm from the Eternal. <laughs> it may have rocked the gift here. Edward Dusk with a knife edge chop to Robbie Thorpe. As I mentioned, he seems to be fueled by violence, but he also knows how to dish it out very well. Oh, he loves handing it out. And you know a guy like Robbie Thorpe has got to get on the nerves of Edward Dusk. A guy who, you know, sees himself as God's gift to everyone. Robbie Thorpe made his first appearance here at MCW at the Ballroom Brawl, and since then, he's yet to be able to taste the sweet, sweet victory. Always counts lights here in the Thornbury Theatre. Oh, what would it mean if he could beat Edward Dusk, a man we've seen take out former MCW champions? That'd send the gift straight to the top of the rankings. Oh, Edward Dusk thinking. Wicked end there. That's where we see the technical nous of Edward Dusk. Ooh, both guys just trading these uh, chicken wings almost. There goes Dusk. Robbie Thorpe doesn't know. Oh, what a counter from the gift. Oh. And there goes the neck of Edward Dusk. There's the power of Robbie Thorpe. This is that vicious streak that maybe Dusk has unleashed in him. That's something unique. Normally a guy who wrestles a technical style won't also have that physicality to complement it. Robbie Thorpe, the rare combination of power and technique. Ed Edward Dust, though, he's been through bigger foes before. As I mentioned last year, he only had one singles loss. He had wins against Adam Brooks, Carlo Cannon, who made his return to MCW, all fail, all fail to beat Edward Dusk. Oh, the gift thinking powerbomb, possibly. And of course, we thank everyone for joining us and watching here on Horizon, the home of MCW, the home of great action like this. Two of the great young competitors here in MCW going for it at Icons. Streamhorizon.com.eu. If you'd like to check out the archives of MCW, you can see all of Edward Dusk's demolition jobs against opponents here in the Thornbury Theatre. Oh, and he lo looks like he's got his eyes set on the hand, but again, the gift able to escape. Beautiful penalty kick there. And you could hear the groan in the quick count. Any English soccer references you can make for that kick, Nims? I, I'm not a big soccer guy. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> he bent his head like Beckham. That's all I got. Check it out, though. We're seeing an immense amount of force from Robbie Thorpe. 
And he's smack talking Edward Dusk. You don't want to play mind games with the man that owns the mother, <laughs> that knows how to own your brain. But that's the confidence of the gift, the confidence of big Robbie Thorpe taking it toe to toe with Edward Dusk and willing to trash talk with him too. But Edward Dusk, we know he's a fighter. We know he can take so much punishment and keep coming back. We always think of Edward Dusk as a man that knows weapons and hardcore matches, but you tend to forget just how good he is as a technical wrestler. And you can see that on display here. But again, Robbie Thorpe also equally as good. He's trained in that UK catches can style. And here he is just bending Edward Dusk like a pretzel. That's it, a beautiful escape. And then he just pairs that with some vicious offense. Just choking Edward Dusk with his own arm. It's looking very, very easy for Robbie Thorpe at the moment. That elusive W might not be too far away it for the be, gift. You're right, it could be coming tonight. What a gift that'd be for Robbie himself. Oh, going into the bow and arrow. Look at the spine stretch there by Robbie Thorpe. As Edward Dusk powers out for a cover, reverses. Dusk, Dusk gets taken down by Thorpe. And Money. Robbie Thorpe might have done some damage to his, his right hand. And Edward Dusk is in, enraged. He sees it again. He was targeting it. Targeting, targeting the hand earlier. Easy for me to say. And there's that finger manipulation that we see from Edward Dusk. Every single point on your body, if you're an opponent of Edward Dusk, is used against you as a weapon. Dusk gets Thorpe back up to his feet. And a thundering lariat from the gift, Robbie Thorpe. But again, Robbie Thorpe just taking a second before doing the cover. Just nursing that injured hand that he did hit the clothesline with. Edward Dust digging deep with a kick out, barely as well. And this is going to be tricky, Nims, for Robbie Thorpe. We've seen him go for submissions in a lot of his matches. What leverage is he going to have with an injured hand? That's going to do some damage. That's going to take away a strategy of the gift. Edward Dusk is reeling at the moment. Robbie Thorpe once again talking more trash. Talking trash to Edward Dusk. I cannot stress how much of a bad idea that is. That's the confidence, you know. Confidence or stupidity? Yeah, confidence. <laughs> and Edward Dusk. Just got a vicious shot to the face there. And Dusk. Oh, I don't think Robbie Thorpe can believe that Dusk is not only up, but asking for more. Edward Dusk says, please, sir, can I have another? And Robbie Thorpe with an uppercut. But Edward Dusk is fueled by that. Oh, another Robbie Thorpe. European uppercut. And Dusk is, is wanting more. He's loving this. Edward Dusk is getting fired up. He's, he's gone into another level. Something has been unleashed in Edward Dusk with a flurry of elbows to the head of Robbie Thorpe. Oh, Dusk had the clothesline scouted this time with a kick. Another pump kick right to the head. Oh, Thorpe off the ropes. Dusky reverses the momentum. German super. Huge German from Edward Dusk. He's fired up. Is he setting them up? Oh, look at the power of Dusk to that twisting brain buster. This, this could be it. And oh. just a two count. Just a two. Referee Dylan doing a great job as always. And of course, like you've said, Nims, the gift yet to receive a win here in MCW. Just putting in the eff extra effort to kick out there. He's desperate tonight. Edward Dusk is on another level at the moment. Stalking his prey. Oh, here we go. He's setting him up. Edward Dust, the eternal, thinking wicked end. He's put away so many men with that. No, but Robbie Thorpe powers out. Oh, powers out into a power bomb. A huge power bomb from the gift. With just one arm. It this could is going to be it. And Edward Dusk is kicked out. Where did Dusk find that? 
Just a two. You know what? It may have been a lucky break for Edward Dusk. He's been targeting that hand. Robbie Thorpe hit that powerbomb with only one arm. Hard to see from our vantage point, but I don't think he had the cover with both arms either. Robbie Thorpe has lost his mind. He cannot believe it. He thought this was his first win in MCW. He's, thro he's throwing the toys out of the pram. Don't take your eyes off the prize just yet, Robbie. And Edward Dusk is Focus. stalking. Edward Dusk is stalking. Oh, no. Dusk oh. has him set up. This could be it. Edward Dusk. Oh, oh Robbie Thorpe tried fighting. Oh, Edward Dusk with the wicked end. And that is it. Edward Dusk. Edward Dust doing what he does so well here at MCW. Putting his opponents away with the wicked end. But what does this mean for Robbie Thorpe? What next? What can he do? He's tried to out-wrestle. He, he failed at that. He's tried a bit more hardcore edge against Edward Dusk. He failed at that. What is left for the gift? I don't know. This is a man who everyone says has everything. What's he missing? I'll tell you what, though. Edward Dusk 2024 could be his year. We see no truth there. Does Dusk have gold in his sights? Edward Dusk spent... Put all the wrong ones in the way. I work in destiny. It is inevitable. I am coming for the world. And you will not keep it from me. Edward Dusk sending a message. Edward Dusk, one of the most dangerous men in all of pro wrestling. What a win for the Eternal. And could he have championship aspirations in 2024? And if he does, whoever's holding gold better watch out. The question I'm going to ask is what next for Robbie Thorpe go? What does he have to do? He's got it all. It's the total package. It's the gift. But he just can't get a win. We saw him fall to Mitch Waterman. We've seen him fall to Rocky Monero. We've seen him fall to Delta. Everyone just can't seem to... He can't get a break here in the top of here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. Introducing first. Ovation for Caveman Oak whenever he enters the Thornbury Theatre. We've seen a more evolved Caveman Oak as well. He's learned to be a little bit more refined. Still equally as violent as he always has been. Always violent. I think the answer for Caveman Oak is always violent. Caveman Oak, of course, a former MCW Intercommonwealth champion. Bitch, I'm on a rampage, mask on my damn face. From Adelaide, South Australia, he is the heavyweight, Tommy Nice! This is the battle of who is the heavyweight. For years, we've seen Caveman Ugg as the dominant heavyweight here at MCW. But Tommy Knight comes from that long line of proud, big, big, meaty men from Adelaide in the vein of Jonah Rock. Absolutely. Jonah Rock, Hartley Jackson, Tommy Knight. Don't know what's going on in South Australia, but they make a fit. Right now, it is a clash of the Titans. You want to see John, uh, King Kong versus Godzilla? It's currently in the middle of the Thornbury Theatre at the moment.
Lots of support from Caveman oh. Argus. Tommy Knight just charges straight into it. And look at the power of Tommy Knight. Oh! Caveman Ugg ready for that spear, just reversed it into a stomp. And that's knocked Tommy off his feet. He looks brainless at the moment. And of course, Ugg is the veteran. He's seen it all. He had that one scouted, ready. Oh my goodness. Jesus! Caveman Ugg just monkey flipping Tommy Knight across the room. But Tommy Knight with a huge power slam in reverse. Could be it. Just a kick out at one. You said it, Godzilla vs. King Kong. They're doing stuff you would only dream of seeing on the big screen. These guys are doing it for real here in the Thornbury Theatre. This is a battle of the behemoths here. Oh, that's right, a fight to see who is the heavyweight. We've heard Tommy Knight refer to himself as that. Caveman are taking exception, though. Who's got the power advantage, Nims, out of these men? It is really 50-50 here, but we can only go by what we've seen in the past. Caveman Ugg coming off a big win against Mick Moretti last month at Anniversary. Caveman Ugg's also been travelling the country. We saw him at Riot City Wrestling in Adelaide. He was part of the East Coast contingent that was in EPW in Perth. But Tommy Knight, just last month we saw him in an eight-man scramble which featured the likes of Jarvis, the Natural Classics, Jake Taylor, Shen, and it got him a guaranteed title shot, a guaranteed championship opportunity against any champion here in this company. Well, we saw Tommy Knight come out here early and get in Slex's face and maybe allude to wanting a world title shot, but look, that's not going to happen that easily. He's still got a match tonight against Ark. Oh, and the beautiful <laughs> Hurricane Rana from the caveman. How a man the size of Caveman Ugg can do that, I have no idea, as he sets him up for a suplex attempt. Oh. Tommy Knight reverses. Quick reversal. Oh, back body drop from Ugg. The veteran definitely showing Tommy Knight, this young upstart, just who is the king of the jungle. That's right, Ugg's seen it all, he's done it all, a champion here, a champion around the country. A well-traveled pro wrestler. This man is respected everywhere he goes. Tommy Knight's no stranger to championships here. He held the MCW Tag Team Championship for 364 days. He did that with the business Slex. Big business, no more. Slex has moved on to other things. I have a feeling uh, him and Tommy might cross paths again if what we saw earlier is any indication. You say that, but does that mean Tommy Knight is overlooking Ugg? Because if Ugg picks up the win here, just logically, doesn't that make him the number one contender? Won't he have a claim to compete for a championship as well? well with the icons in charge, who knows? But Tommy Knight like a freight oh. train. With a huge charge on Caveman Ugg. He hasn't seen Ugg behind him, and Ugg returns serve. It's 15 all. Ugg firing back. Those big chants of Ugg ringing through the sold-out Thornbury Theatre. Oh, what a kick from the heavyweight Tommy Knight. Tommy Knight's looking to set him up. Oh, a beautiful drop down into a suplex from Tommy Knight. But Ugg back to his feet, completely flips Ugg around with a huge running clothesline. My goodness. It's just a two count there. The power of Tommy Knight to hit Ugg with a clothesline and spin him inside out. These two men are exceptional. This is the kind of action you get here at Melbourne City Wrestling. And again, wherever you are in the world, we thank you for watching here on Horizon. Horizon is, of course, the brand new home of MCW. And we thank you for inviting us into your living rooms or maybe your mobiles, wherever you're watching us at streamhorizon.com.au. As Tommy Knight with a massive scoop slam, and I underline the word massive. Beautiful big senton from Tommy Knight. Tommy Knight's out of it just a little bit. Caveman Ugg is done. Oh, that's for another senton. The agility of Ugg able to get out of the way there. Oh, look at the face of Ugg. He is pissed. No. No Could way. Could this be? Could he do it? 
The Thornbury faithful think that he can. Oh! Tour of the caves to Tommy Knight from Caveman Oak. This is it. In the battle of... And Ugg cannot believe it. Tommy Knight has kicked out. I can't believe what Ugg just did. Ugg can't believe it either. Oh, oh is Ugg thinking flip-flip? I think Ugg is. Digging deep into the playbook. The MCW faithful. We haven't seen this in a very long time. An extraordinarily, extraordinary athlete. Boot salt from Ugg. Tommy Knight had it scouted though. Oh, what's Tommy Knight lining up? Sliding. This is it. And Ugg kicks out. Ugg has kicked out. In this battle of the heavyweights. That's right. This is a fight to see who should be the heavyweight. That massive sliding forearm from Tommy Knight. Ugg. Able to kick out. We've seen Tommy e Tommy Knight defeat Adam Brooks last month, an anniversary. He had the biggest match of his career when he had a world title shot against Buddy Matthews back in July last year. Taking Matthews to the absolute limit. A star-making performance for the heavyweight Tommy Knight. And here he is going blow for blow with Caveman Ugg. Tommy Knight just just doing his absolute best to chop down this massive tree that is Caveman Ugg. And Ugg returns serve again. This is a fist fight. It's an old school Pier 6 brawl. See it, both men going toe to toe. Blow for blow. And the pride of each man. Just not letting him back down. Just firing back every single time. This is just... This is like watching two freight trains go straight into each other repeatedly. And Ugg gets the upper hand, but barely. But Tommy Knight, oh. with that speed and quickness, knocks Ugg out of the ring. Tommy Knight just derailed the freight train. That's Ugg. What's Tommy Knight thinking? Oh, what's Ugg thinking? Ugg. What's Ugg thinking? Oh. A huge cannonball from the outside of the ring to Tommy Knight on the inside. And the MCW faithful are on their feet, but Tommy Knight fights back with an elbow of himself. Oh, Tommy Knight out on the apron, thinking, all right, let's go for it. Oh, flip through from Tommy Knight. Oh! Here's the cover. And Tommy Knight kicks out again. Oh, what a match we are seeing between these two dry giants of Australian pro wrestling. And Ugg. Ugg is looking to get to his feet. Tommy Knight doesn't know what's happening. And we just saw it there for the first time in MCW, that Thunder Lariat from Caveman Ugg. We've seen him working on that. Just a nip up as well. What can't Caveman Ugg do? This man is one of a kind. Sets him up for a crucifix power bomb, but Tommy Knight kicks it, maneuvers out of it. Oh, big Enziguri from Tommy Knight. Both of these men digging deep into the bag of tricks in this match. And maybe that's what it's going to have to take, that extra something. Tommy Knight looking for the brain buster. Oh. No, but Ugg powers out of it. Tommy Knight. Both men colliding. Caveman Ugg. Tommy Knight with a huge spear. Knight with the cover. And Ugg kicks out. Look, that was a great game plan from Tommy Knight. He created space. He had the opening, hit the massive spear. But again, both these men in so evenly matched. It's almost like their power cancels each other out. Caveman Ugg is, is flat on his back. Oh, what is Tommy Knight thinking? Is he going to have to go deep into the playbook for this one? I don't think we've seen Tommy Knight ever like this before. A very athletic big man. We don't see him go up top. I can't think of the last time Tommy Knight got aerial. No, desperate times. Oh, but again, the agility of Ugg springing up to the second rope. Oh, both men. Both men fighting up top. This is very, very dangerous. 
two huge giants perched <laughs> at the top of the ring. Giant overhand chop there from Ugg. Oh, Ugg, no. Ugg going for a... Oh, no. Is he going for a super? Is the ring reinforced? A huge <laughs> superplex! A massive superplex! A ring-shaking superplex! Double clothesline! Ugg and Slex are both taken out, and referee Edwin Lay. Ugg and Tommy Knight both just smashing. And you can hear the roar of This Is Awesome from the MCW faithful. Both men could have just taken each other out. A clash of the titans, irresistible force, a movable object, all the cliches. These men are living up to it tonight. But they've got to get to their feet. Referee Edwin Lay's up to six. Oh, he's up to six. Of course, a 10 count would mean a draw if no man is on his feet. They're up to seven. They're doing their best. Hey. Wait a minute, that's Slax! That's the business, Slax! And he's gone straight after his former tag team champion! And he's oh. gone after it! He's gone after Ugg! The business, Slax, has just interjected himself! Slax, our world champion, has somehow put himself into this match. Oh, we're getting another look Get at the champ. Get out of here, Slax. Another look at one of the icons. The business, Slax. The referee has declared a no contest. So what does this mean? Well, I, I guess- Slex no, has just ruined. I, I guess no one gets a title shot now. Slex has, oh, you know exactly. That's right, High Stakes is the next time we'll see you here in the Thornbury Theatre, May 4. The next time we'll see you on Horizon as well. I cannot wait to roll the dice for some High Stakes. It is going to be everything on the line, but we also want to take this moment to thank True Believer for the official theme song of MCW Icons. It is called Knife to the Memory. It's available now on Spotify, Apple Music, and wherever you get your tunes. But I tell you what, we have got an insane second half of MCW Icons coming up. The Icons take on the Perea for the MCW World Tag Team Championship. And we get to see our Inter Commonwealth Champion, Delta, in action. That is coming up next, right here on Horizon. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the MCW Inter Commonwealth Champion. Introducing first. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Oh, get excited. The lucky one, Lucky O'Leary. Look at him. Look at him indeed. Lucky O'Leary. Oh, you know what's about to happen. Nothing ridiculous. It's coming. Man. Oh, it's coming, yes. Lucky O'Leary covering himself in that lucky liquid. What sort of disgusting elixir is that? Oh, I don't know, but I think he got some in my mouth. That is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen from one of the most flamboyant superstars we've ever seen in the Thornbury Theatre. Oh. Lucky O'Leary, he made his debut here at MCW oh. at the Ballroom He's Ball talk. last year. Shut up, Nibs. Now, if you would all be so kind as to remain seated, and shut your greasy mouth, cause Lucky O'Leary is talking. Crowd not feeling so lucky tonight, I guess, eh, Simon? 
Tonight, I face the one woman wrecking machine. And I know how this is supposed to go. When grown men hear the name Delta, their knees tremble. But when women hear the name Lucky O'Leary, their knees buckle. Got a high opinion of himself, this Mr. O'Leary. Oh, a lot of buckled knees in the crowd tonight. And I know all you little Delta Sips, you're going to be fangirling and pissing your pants when she comes out here tonight. Yeah, you'll probably start chanting, Delta's going to kill you. Delta's going to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Delta ain't going to do diddly squat because tonight she fights. Ask and you shall receive, Mr. O'Leary. Your luck has changed. Because here comes one of the most dominant MCW Inter-Commonwealth Champions we have ever seen. Delta. The first woman to win the Inter-Commonwealth Championship. The current women's champion. The double champ of MCW, the one, the only, Delta. An absolutely phenomenal athlete. Delta, a proud champion. Willing to compete here tonight, putting the Inter-Commonwealth title on the line against the lucky one, Lucky O'Leary. Do you think Delta's needs a buckling? I think there's no buckling of the door. The only, the only sort of buckling that's going to be happening is that knee going into the face of Lucky O'Leary. Thornbury faithful with their prediction for the night. Introducing first the challenger, weighing 101 kilos, Lucky O'Leary. 101 kilos of pure man. Pure BS, if you ask me. But you didn't. And introducing the champion, she is the reigning MCW Women's Champion and tonight she is defending the MCW Inter-Commonwealth Championship, Delta! Delta an absolute superstar here in MCW. Quite possibly the most popular star here in MCW. Tremendous ovation as usual. And of course, only one of her championships is on the line tonight. That's the one held by referee Dylan, the Inter-Commonwealth title. It's got a bit of uh, lucky uh, lucky liquid on there, it seems. Look at that lucky liquid. Could be a sign of things to come. Hopefully not. And the match is underway as... Lucky O'Leary with the full amount of confidence over against someone that's held that Inter-Commonwealth Championship for 168 days. Oh, Lucky O'Leary, though, talking some trash. And you know what? He's got the size advantage. He's got the power advantage. Maybe. Well, Maybe not. Delta is showing who is boss right now. Big back body drop from Delta. And Delta has got a very, very big assignment in her future. Oh, she may have been getting too confident there. Lucky O'Leary just striking from behind. Oh, oh no. I think Lucky O'Leary has just realized he might have made the biggest mistake of his life. 
No amount of luck is going to help you here, Lucky. Oh, great. Great getting out of the way with his speed there. Oh, big knee to the face from Lucky. Going for the neck breaker, Delta. Reverses it into a su oh. standing suplex, but Lucky powers out. Delta goes for a clothesline. Oh, Picture perfect neck breaker from O'Leary into the cover. Not even a one there. It's going to take more than that to keep Delta down, that's for sure. Delta won this Inter Commonwealth Championship off Jarvis in October last year. She's held that title since. And of course, the Inter Commonwealth title means so much here in MCW. Oh, Delta thinking F5 early. It's been held by some of the all time greats Adam Brooks, Slex. You done? Get done. Um, there's been better, much, much better champions than those two stupid Bronson examples. Bronson Reed, Will Ospreay. <laughs> Some of the all-time greats have held that championship. Delta. Proper icons. Delta doing that title proud. Oh, Lucky O'Leary could be getting it. Ah, kick out from Delta. Delta kicks out there. We could go on and on. That championship has been a springboard for worldwide international superstars. And Delta currently holds it proudly but let's not take advantage uh, let's not uh, discredit lucky o'leary too the last time we saw him here in the thornbury theater he was in the main event at october last year and fight to survive who's taking anything away from him only you nims get on board the lucky train I'd rather not I'd rather get as far away from the lucky train as possible is delta with some right hands to the face of lucky o'leary Lucky O'Leary pathetically oh. begging, oh. begging and pleading, please don't hit me again, Delta. He's saying, stop, stop punching, that's illegal. Oh, and a cheap shot to the eyes oh, of Delta. Open palm strike from Lucky O'Leary. Lucky O'Leary. Twisting suplex there. Beautiful maneuver there. Goes for the cover. We could have a new... No, we Lucky O'Leary just losing his temper just a smidge. I think he was just testing the eye makeup of uh, Delta, seeing if it's regulation makeup or not. That's absolutely what he was not doing as Lucky O'Leary oh. scouts the corner. Oh, What's he doing? Maybe refuel time. A bit more of that lucky liquid. The lucky liquid again. This is not the time nor the place. Oh, oh. Got, it's important to stay hydrated, is it, Mr. O'Leary? It's Delta oh! with a spear! Just speared the juice right out of him! Oh, Delta. F5! F5! F5 on O'Leary! Oh, we no. got a cover! Oh, no! Delta reigns supreme once more! Well, it looks like Delta took that horseshoe that's on the back of Lucky's tights right out of him and beat him with it. And the next time we're going to see... your winner and still champion, Delta! Delta, oh. once again. And oh, no! Delta absolutely soaking Lucky O'Leary in that disgusting elixir that he carries around with him. Well, it's disgusting now that she's drank out of the bottle. No respect for Lucky's bottle, but all the respect to Delta. What a champion she is. Wait a minute. We know that music. That sounds like it is. It's Erica Reed. The Dreamtime Voodoo Witch herself, Erica Reed, is in the house. What does Erica Reed want? Eric Reed just stalking Delta. Oh. My ancestors told me. I asked my ancestors what to do next, and they told me to find a Fierce warrior. <laughs> and I found
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. Now Mitch is yet to find out which member of Shadow Alley he will be facing. Introducing first. to the top of the mountain. He took a brief hiatus from MCW. He's been in the UK since November 2023. You want to talk about someone that can mix it with the best. When he was world champion, he had successful title defenses against Slex, Adam Brooks, Davis Storm, Unsocial Jordan. He was a fighting champion, and now it looks like he wants to return to the top of the mountain. Absolutely. You say mix it up with some of the best. At the time, Mitch Waterman, he had the claim to be the best, the world champion. But, a different time. We're in the era of the icons. I don't know if Mitch can get back there with Slex as our world champ. And his opponent. Making their way to the ring, Shadow Alley! These two superstars have been under the tutelage of Mick Moretti. Under the influence of Mick Moretti. What is going on with these two guys? I have no idea, but the man you see standing without a hat is, of course, Pop, aka in a previous life, Blake Malik. The man that is making his way around the other side of the ring with the handkerchief hanging from his pants is of course Crackle. These were the names that were given to them by Mick Moretti. He doesn't want them referred to by I their previous names. I believe it's Snap and Crackle. Pop and is Mick Moretti. Yes, sorry. Will be Snap. Oh, no, oh, it's Snap. Oh, we're ringing the bell. I only corrected you, Nims, because I don't want Mick Moretti angry at you. That cannot go well. That is true. It... Oh, great athletic manoeuvre. Oh. Mick Moretti is, of course, the pop between Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Oh, beautiful Death Valley driver there. Snap doing some great work here, a.k.a. Blake Malik. And we saw, when he was formerly Blake Malik, he did great work. One of the great young stars here in Melbourne City Wrestling. A lot of people tout this man as a future champion. But now under the guidance of Mick Moretti, it's a whole other story. We're going for that twisting splash. As Mitch the... Waterman, he's seen it all getting out of the way. And Mitchy stalks his prey. A huge kick to the face of Snap. It's over. And a simple victory for Mitch Waterman as he makes his way towards the title and pitcher. Winner, Mitch Waterman! Great win for our former world champ. A successful victory against Robbie Thorpe last month. Oh wait. And a oh, victory. Wait. What is Jarvis doing out here? Jarvis. The junior vice president. Wow, Mitch, wow. That was impressive. I mean, it doesn't even look like you broke a sweat. Honestly, Mitch, I'm, I'm so impressed by you. I mean, to take him on that quickly and to beat him that quickly. Round of applause, round of applause for Mitch. Java's showing a rare sign of respect. But, 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 but. There's the love from the MCW faithful. But, as my new promotion, I get to make 
a few more power decisions and well Mitch, I haven't forgotten about anniversary. I know you love surprises so much, I mean you surprised me, so I think it's time to repay the favour. Mitch, you're not done tonight. You've got one more match. And it starts right now, ring the bell. What's this? Mitch Waterman was ambushed by Crackle. Oh, Crackle. Just on top of Mitch, raining down punches. And you know what, Nims, this makes sense. As our junior vice president of general managing, Jarvis said, this is a match against Shadow Alley. It wasn't against one of them. Are we going by a technicality Shadow here? Shadow Alley, collectively. Well, I can tell you right now, Crackle is definitely getting the work done on him by Mitch Waterman. Beautiful sling blade there. Signature offense from Waterman. Oh, could he be thinking? Oh, no. Snap is holding his leg down, and there is Crackle. Oh, what a spin kick. Oh, that could be it. Could get the victory here. And Crackle goes for the cover, and just a two count there. How proud would Pop Mick Moretti be if Shadow Alley pick up the win against Mitch Waterman tonight? It'd be something that's overdue, because Mick Moretti's not too pleased with Shadow Alley at the moment. They haven't been on the same page in recent months, especially after their loss to the Natural Classics last December. Here we see Crackle getting the upper hand. Huge drop kick to the face of Mitch Waterman. Shades of his previous identity pre Mick Moretti as Ryan Rapid. Mm, the, it's in the name there, Rapid. Look how fast he moved to hit that drop kick too. With no Mick Moretti here, I think we could... Do we have to call him Crackle? No. Uh, we better not, just in case Moretti's watching it on the horizon. You know, Moretti could be around the corner. We don't know where he is. Crackle sets him up Ooh. for a scoop slam. Great effort there. From just a two count. Maybe getting a little confident there. Of course, Mitch Waterman, like you mentioned, some of those guys he's gone to war with. A huge heart, able to kick out of that one. Squeezing the life out of Mitch Waterman now is Crackle. That is Crackle, isn't it? It is definitely it's, it's Crackle. Crackle. It is Crackle. What a victory this would be. Imagine he got a submission victory over Mitch Waterman in the center of the ring right now. It would absolutely please Mick Moretti, that's for sure. And you've seen Shadow Alley in singles competition as well. The last time that Crackle was in action, he had a win against Wake in September 23. Mitch, though, Mitch Waterman fighting back to his feet. But there goes Crackle once again with the elbow to the back of the head. Oh, springboard goes Crackle into the kick. What an athlete this guy is. Well, could be done Recover. here. Man, what a move, though. Don't get frustrated. And without Moretti here, maybe they don't have that guidance they need. But surely he's maybe, left them some lessons. Maybe without Moretti here, they don't have the distraction. We're seeing a side of Shadow Alley that we haven't before. And Crackle is absolutely all over Mitch Waterman at the moment. The former champion, the former world champion, is reeling. But he fights back. That's it, Mitch Waterman, known for that massive heart. Known for never saying quit, never surrendering. Just taking that offense. Ooh, not a place you want to be. Especially with Snap on the outside. But Crackle's telling him to back off. Oh, what's Crackle thinking? What's Crackle lining up? Crackle going aerial. Look at the disrespect to Mitch Waterman. Crackle launches himself. Oh, oh no! Oh. Mitch Waterman just moved. Snap straight into the oncoming path of an airborne Crackle. And Crackle is incensed. He's raged. Crackle taking out Snap, but again, still had time to take out Mitch Waterman on the apron there. What a move from Crackle. Crackle once again. Oh, no, not again. Oh. There's the agility there, but Mitch Waterman, oh! 
sling blade on the apron this time. Everyone is down outside. Referee Dylan checking on every person here. Oh, Mitch Waterman is up first, though. It's a bit of experience that Mitch has. Oh, no. Oh, what are you doing, Mitchie? No! Mitch with a huge dive over the top rope, taking out both members of Shadow Alley. And this is the kind of action you can expect here at MCW, the best pro wrestling in the country. And you're seeing it all on horizon again. We say thank you for joining us for Icons. Crackle is reeling as Mitch Waterman takes to the sky. Oh, think it 450. Crackle with a big boot to the face of Mitch Waterman. Lines him up again. Mitch ducks it. Comeback roller, shotgun drop kick. Oh, he's rocked Crackle. Oh, full Nelson slam from Mitch Waterman. A new one there. Oh, into the moonsault. And a kick out by Crackle at the barest of margins. What a unique combination. You don't usually see a competitor able to do a full Nelson slam and then a moonsault. But that is the well-rounded arsenal of Mitch Waterman these days. Mitch Waterman battle-hardened at the moment. He spent a bit of time in Rev Pro Wrestling in the UK. Obviously picked up some new tricks. Oh, Crackle rolling through for the win. Ah, just an inside cradle. Waterman once again, oh, dodges the kick. Sets him up. Oh, just dropping him back first onto his knees. That could be done. Quick kick out. Just a two. Mitch Waterman is wondering, what does he have to do to put away Crackle? And this is where Mitch Waterman has that advantage. He's been in big matches before. Mitch has been the face of this company. Absolutely. He carried the banner for MCW for a very long time. Oh, and there we see Snap. Snap has got him. Oh. And Crackle. Crackle heading up top very quickly, hooking Mitch up for a superplex. But Mitch is, Mitch is guarding it. He's stopping it. Great defensive move by Mitch Waterman. Looking like he gripped the ropes tighter with his legs while fighting out of that as well. Delivers a huge headbutt though to Crackle. Oh, this is dangerous. Watch it, Mitch. Mitch has got to be oh. careful here. It's high risk. Oh, what, what is Mitch thinking? High risk, high reward. No land. Oh, oh my God! A, a poison runner there from the top rope. Mitch Waterman. Could this be the momentum changer? Well, he just dropped him on his head. It could be over. Oh! Crackle just reversing that into a destroyer. And both men are out. Both men may have neck injuries then. God. Referee Dylan checking on them, but now having to start his count, of course. It's a three count, and both men do not look like they are going to move an inch. They've both been taken out. Referee Dylan continuing the count. We don't want to see another no contest here. Up to seven. The Thornbury Theatre. Looks like Crackle. Along. Crackle's almost up to his feet. Mitch needs to move. But again, Crackle has to get to his feet. Oh, no. Referee Dylan calling it. Both men able to fight. This match continuing. An absolute war we're seeing here, Nims. This is an absolute barn burner as Crackle is just demolishing and unleashing off the ropes. Crackle with that big back elbow there. Just to show disrespect, spitting at Mitch Waterman. Springboard. Oh! Waterman catching Crackle with that super kick on the way down. Is he setting him up? A huge super kick from Mitch. Goes for the cover. And your winner again is Mitch Waterman!
Mitch Waterman once again winning to the, once again, returning to the winner's list here at MCW. Returning to the winner's list twice in one night. What a showing from the former champ, Mitch Waterman. And you know he's got his eyes set on gold. Determined as ever, returning from injury. Learning some new tricks over in the UK. Mitch Waterman back home here in MCW. And Simon, as we're on the highway to ballroom brawl, remember that was what catapulted Mitch to superstardom, winning the 2021 ballroom brawl and then cashing in his shot for the MCW World Championship. Could we be seeing gold around the waist of Mitchy soon? Melbourne City wrestling fans, I heard that a few of you don't mind a cheeky beer. Oh, amazing. Well, that's good because I am the beer drinking, barely thinking, schooner sinking, ooh, the duck man. <laughs> and although I love a beer, I also don't mind a cheeky punt. Which brings me to my next point. Your general manager, the Rocky Monero, has contacted me about your show. Saturday, the 4th of May, high stakes, and the Tuck Man, the Tuck Man, he is coming to Melbourne to have a few beers with everybody in the MCW audience and everyone on the MCW roster. And I'll have you all saying the three freshest words in Australian wrestling right now, which is, ooh, the Tuck Man. Disgusting, using a championship title. A huge stomp, Get Michael's in. After a belt One, shot. two, no, three. No. We've got a new champion. No. We've got a new champion! Here he is your winner! Shut up! Edwin! Edwin! You restart this match, you restart it right now or you lose your job! Oh, Rocky with the pin! Rocky's got it! Rocky did it! The Perea have been robbed! The icon stand atop MCW! Mission accomplished, we are your World Tag Team Champions and the World Heavyweight Champion. Just like an absent father, parents from afar, you've proven once again that your best work is done by others for you. You found some new friends, didn't you? Slex, our new World Champion, and Brooksy, your silent assassin, who's gonna do all the dirty work for you. Is that right? Are they in your shadow as well? You're in such a rush put me out, and let's be honest, you guys can probably keep crap out of me. You've completely forgotten who my tag team partner is. This is the one of the most dangerous men in Australia. This is one of the best professional wrestlers in the world. And you are so busy chasing me around the corner, you're about to run into a bus named Adam Brooks. So now, on March 30th, we step out onto your show with all the odds stacked against us and everything to gain. From the top of the mountain to the shadow of an absent father. Or from the shadow of an absent father to the top of the mountain. What is Jarvis doing out here again? Never have I seen as little of power go to someone's head like I have. All right, Jarvis. And it is for the MCW Tag Team Champions. Introducing first. MCW Tag Team Champions, Gabriel Eros and Eli Theseus. They are the Pareya. For over 150 days, these men held those titles with pride. They're the current OPW Tag Team Champions. They're also the current World Series Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Gold goes around where, wherever these men go, gold follows them. Absolutely one of the best tag teams in the world. 
Eli Theseus, Gabriel Eros, the Perea. We've seen them do it all. They said they were going to get to the top of the MCW mountain, and they did. They said they were going to become the kings of MCW, and they did. But that time is over, Nim, because we are in the era of the icon. The only reason they don't still have those MCW Tag Team Championships is because of that scummy general manager we have, Rocky Monero, who screwed them out of those belts. How can you say things like that about Dad? It is the absolute truth. It was one of the biggest injustices we've ever seen in the Thornbury Theatre. And Theater. introducing your Tag Team Champions! Give it up to our Junior Vice President of General Management. Also doing a great job announcing Jarvis. You heard it there, introducing the Tag Champs themselves. Rocky Monero, Adam Brooks, alongside the world champion Slacks of all the icons. They're looking good. Tonight is a celebration of the three cornerstones of this promotion, the icons. You might not like it, and I certainly don't, but these are the three most dominant men in all of wrestling in Australia. They are the measuring stick. The world champion Slex and the tag team champions Rocky Monero and Adam Brooks. Adam Brooks, Rocky Monero, this is a dream team, but you're not sleeping. You're awake, seeing it go down in the Thornbury Theatre. The icon at the loose ledge carrying the tag team titles. This is historic. What a main event we've got. Let's thank the icons again for a great night of action. Rocky Monero, of course. A lot of history with the Perea. He took them under his wing. He taught them everything that he knows. And then they turned on him. They turned their back on Dad. Just like you. You have an interesting way of remembering things. Rocky Monero, Rocky Monero, oh, oh, oh. Rocky Monero wearing the tights of the Perea. Digging deep into the closet there is Rocky Monero. Rocky Monero, the disrespect, you don't wear another man's colours. He doesn't deserve to All wear... Alrighty. Introducing first, the challenges. Wrestling from... Olympus? Uh, whatever. Weighing in at a thousand tons of fat. <laughs> they were the former tag team champions. The Perea. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that ovation. Look at that ovation for the Perea. <laughs> The Thornbury Theatre is shaking for the Perea. And introducing your champions, weighing in at 184 and a quarter kilos. He is the loose ledge, Adam Brooks. He is your general manager, Rocky Monero, the icons. We haven't seen Rocky Monero in action since last month. He, re he returned to an active competition in February. And I think if he was getting a performance appraisal on his on his role as general manager, I don't think that the MCW faithful are too pleased. Disrespect. Like I said, fair weather fans, tall puppy syndrome. This man comes back from injury. He fights back. He gets healthy, gets back in the ring, becomes a champion, and then everyone says, oh, I don't want part of this story anymore. The Perea looking to reclaim the gold. They held for over 150 days, and by all intents and purposes, 
should still be holding. And of course, this match for the Tag Team Championships. The Perea wanting to regain that. But hey, boys, as much as I love the Perea, the tall order going against two of the absolute best to ever compete in this country. If there is any team that could do it, it is the Perea. You want to talk about some of the teams that they've gone through. They have beaten the Untouchables. They have beaten the Velocities. They have beaten Tommy Knight and Slex. Big business. They have beaten Big Dude Energy. Shall I keep going? Because they have done it all. You can keep going, but like I said, this is a dream team. This is Adam Brooks and Rocky Monero, both veterans for decades, coming together, combining their powers and their talents. Rocky Monero, ever since he made his return to MCW less than five years ago, he has been on an absolute tear. He's a former Inter-Commonwealth champion and now holds that tag team title. Here we go. The night's action has been bookended by Icon World Title matches. Of course, we started with Slex re retaining the title against Emin. And for our main event, we've got Rocky Monero and Adam Brooks hopefully defending their titles against the Pereira in the main event. Rocky Monero. If there's anyone that knows the Pereira inside and out, it is Rocky Monero. But remember, Dad, you're, the, you're responsible for what you've taught these guys. All the icons just taking a breather. Just getting that game plan back together. And what a coach they've got on the outside tonight. The world champ himself, the business Slex, providing his decades of experience to his good friends Rocky Monero and Adam Brooks. Gabriel Eros just teasing, get dad back in the ring. Rocky Monero refusing to link up with his former protege. And again, went from that lock up into a quick go behind. Full Nelson into the hammerlock. Rocky Monero with some old school pro wrestling. I mentioned that Rocky Monero taught the Perea everything that he knows. But the age old saying, I don't think he taught him everything that he knows. That's right. Rocky might have a couple of tricks up his sleeve. But the Perea, they've evolved. They've moved on. The Perea have gone around the country. Oh, and again, Rocky Monero just with the control, just going old school there. Control the head and you control the body. He's doing that right now to Gabriel Eros. You don't want to do that to Gabriel Eros, though. The man is a rabid pit bull. Oh, that short fuse may have been lit in Eros right now. It is one of the shortest fuses you will ever see in all of professional wrestling as Gabriel Eros just tries to, as Eli Theseus, the brains here, just telling him. The calming force in the Perea is Eli Theseus. And you know what, great game plan from Dad, great game plan from Rocky Monero. He might be thinking, I'm gonna push their button so much and force a DQ early on. What an easy night of work, because of course, in a DQ, titles aren't changing hands. The yeah. icons can go home with the belts. Cooler heads are prevailing. Oh, okay. As Gabriel Eros tags in Eli Theseus. Eli Theseus, a violent man, a great competitor, great wrestler, but slightly more calm than Gabriel Eros. Slightly is very <laughs> underlined and bolded there. Both of these men... A lot of pent-up rage against Rocky Monero, their former mentor. It's interesting though, as much as the rage and the hatred is there, they also want to show each other up and prove that they're the better wrestler. Rocky Monero wants to show that, hey, I've forgotten more about wrestling than you've ever known. But the Perea though, disrespectful kids, they want to try and show up dad right here in the main event of Icons. Eli Theseus has just got an outgunned Rocky Monero. Oh. Rocky pulls out another trick from the bag. Ooh. And Eli, Eli gets the upper hand and Rocky Monero is not happy. 
Eli sliding out into the hammerlock of his own. Beautiful technique. Rocky, though, forcing the break, finding the ropes. And a, just a huge elbow to the back of, to the front of Eli Theseus' face. Scoop slam, though, from Eli. And there's the power of the Perea. And just mocking Rocky Monero. And we're back to, to business here. But there we go, Rocky Monero gets the quick tag. And Eli Theseus is in no man's land at the moment. He's trapped in the icon's corner. And Brooksy just introduces him into the other one. Well, you know I respect the Pereira's competitors, but Nims, a wrestling ring is no place for dancing. Dancing belongs in nightclubs and on tables for dollar bills. As a great man once said. I can tell you right now, Adam Brooks has got no shortage of tag team experience. He's a four-time tag team champion himself. Adam Brooks, we say it all the time, this is a man who's done it all and he can do it all. One of the greatest tag competitors here in MCW. One of the greatest singles competitors. Held all the titles. Beaten everyone. Main evented countless times here in the Thornbury Theatre. He dishes out a front suplex. And look at him just talking absolute trash to Eli Theseus. And he shouldn't have done that because Eli goes for the pin. And a kick out there by Brooksy. Eli Theseus. With a great armbar, goes and makes the tag to his partner, Gabriel Eros. Gabriel Eros, Eli Theseus, both men in, both members of the Perea. Double elbow there. They are a great tag team, can't take that away from them. One of the best tag teams you will see in the world, the Perea. There's the, another quick tag as they both unleash a mugging. Oh, Rocky Monero in. Perea sending him into the corner. Eli charging in. Now Gabriel Eros. And some pent up retribution there for Rocky Monero. This is the quickness of the Perea. Are we setting him up? Oh, Slex. I think Slex was checking the boots of Gabriel. Maybe they were untied. I don't know. Slex just saved Adam Brooks because the Perea were about to hit the Kali Nikta. And that means good night. In more ways than one. Absolutely. Predominantly in Greek, but... Yeah, and all good night for the opponents. Slex trying to give the Perea some, uh, some veteran advice here, I think. Oh, no. Edwin Lay. Edwin Lay is just sent Slex to the back. Get out of here, business is closed. Edwin, what are you doing? The show's called Icons. We can't have the show without Slex. The Icons have just lost Slex. Slex is not happy about this. But the, the MCW faithful in the Thornbury Theatre. An early night for our world champion. See Dis you, Slex. Disrespect. Listen to these northern suburb scumbags singing at the misfortune of our champion. Serenading him away as Adam Brooks gets back into the action. Beautiful. Uh, Gabriel Eros. Atomic drop there from Gabriel Eros. Getting Adam Brooks right in the minerals. Absolutely. Gabriel Heros now dishing out some justice. Gabriel Eros unleashing on Adam Brooks and the Perea can smell those tag team titles, but Adam Brooks fights back. Somehow, Adam Brooks. Back. Adam Brooks is. Adam Brooks is going for the ribs. What's going on? Ooh. Adam Brooks is targeting the ribs. Gabriel of Gabriel Eros. Eros just doubling down, just wincing in pain at every strike to the ribs. And look at Rocky Monero. Rocky remembers 
Rocky knows the weak points. Rocky knows everything about the Perea. Oh! Rough landing there for Gabriel Eros. Nursing the ribs and just falling head first. Brilliant game plan, though. Brilliant game plan. It's cheap. Brilliant game plan. It's cheap, nasty, and downright despicable. That is veteran tactics. Rocky Monero knows the weaknesses. You've got to exploit them. Championships are on the line. Everything is on the line here in our main event, the Icons and the Perea. We might get a referee stoppage here. For months and months, Rocky Monero took the Perea under his wing. But all Rocky was doing was analyzing them, finding out their weak points, finding out where they're vulnerable. And now he's chosen to strike. The and lesson here, kids, never open up to anyone. And Gabriel Eros is being slaughtered. He desperately needs to make the tag to his tag team partner, Eli Theseus. I don't think he can. Look at him just holding. Just can, get, give it up, Gabriel. Gabriel Eros could barely kick out. For his own good, is it a better move to just call it right now? If he can't break, he can't Absolutely not. Absolutely not. The Perea do not give up. Think of your health, Gabriel. The Perea do not give up as Rocky Monero, like a sniper, targets the ribs of Gabriel Eros. Rocky Monero, genius competitor. He saw the injury. And he's going to work on those ribs right now. Just a big headbutt. The man who pays our checks, the general manager, Rocky Monero. So good to see him competing again in the ring. And Gabriel Eros, he's doing his best to fight back. He's got to make a tag. He has to make a tag. If he's got any chance of surviving this match. Beautiful gut buster there. He's wincing in pain, and there is an uncomfortable, uncomfortable lull here by the MCW faithful inside the Thornbury Theatre. Gabriel Eros, he, Gabriel Eros, this is taking, this is taking years of his career. Uh, like we always say about Gabriel Eros, he's got that short fuse, he's got that passion, he's got that anger inside of him, he's got that thing that just drives him to keep fighting. That could be his undoing. If he's injured, it may be the smarter play to just call it right now and give up. They're working that lower body. And now Brooksy. This is the part of Adam Brooks that we don't often see. Well, that's the part that we often see a lot. But Adam Brooks, he loves a laugh, but at the same time, he can also kick your backside. Brooksy going for a cover. Gabriel Eros is in Struggle Street. There might not be time to visit Stalactites tonight. Absolutely not. It's going to take more than some delicious food to nurse an injury like this. Absolutely not. The only time that they're going to be going up Lonsdale Street is if it's in an ambulance. But there's the fight back from Gabriel Eros. Look How at that heart. What fight does he have, though? He's wounded, but he's still fighting. No, no, he just couldn't do it. Gabriel Eros. Just crumbling under the weight of Adam Brooks. Gabriel Eros, despite all the will and despite all the heart, just couldn't do it as Brooksy. Adam Brooks saw the kick coming, caught it. Classic offense from the loose ledge with that kick in the corner. And Gabriel Eros is in the wrong corner. And again, the icon. He's got to make oh, his no. way. He's got to make his way and tag. Oh, He's got to tag Eli. Fingertips away. He's Gabriel Eros. Come on, from Gabriel. Eli. Gabriel Eros is so close. You can just feel it. Adam Brooks. Adam Brooks is just getting some damage here. As I don't know where Gabriel Eros is fighting. Is is. Oh, fake out from Brooksy. Spin kick into the guts. I'm telling you, Gabriel Eros should just call it right now. Rocky Monero directing traffic there. Whoa. Once again, Adam Brooks is just targeting. And Gabriel Eros. 
Big knee from Brooksy, holding him down for Rocky to get the win. Again, Gabriel Eros kicking out. You're going to need to do a lot more than that to put away the Perea. But at what price to his own health and safety, Nims? They have got, they have got so much fight in them, so much heart, and Rocky Monero knows it. I really hope there's not any subtitles on this, uh, on this, on Horizon, are there? Not yet. Yeah, maybe we can censor that part. Apologies to anyone in Oakley that might be offended. Rocky Monero, though, back in charge. They have laid an absolute beatdown on Gabriel Eros. Gabriel but again, Eros. classic tag team wrestling, keeping him in their corner. And a huge stretch. See, abdominal stretch. Getting the leverage. Adam Brooks with the leverage to get that added. Edwin Lay. These men are such good friends, taking time out to shake hands during a match. But True Edwin Lay's noticed. Oh, Edwin no. Lay has figured it out. Edwin Lay hates friendship. <laughs> and that's what you have. A great performance review there from the Thornbury Theatre. Giving a big thumbs up to the refereeing of Edwin Lay. Rocky Monero just crushing the ribs of Gabriel Eros again. And now mocking the Pereira. Gabriel Eros, he's, in, he's oh. in no man's land. He's desperately got to make his way and tag his tag team partner. Oh no! And he has, there's the quickness. That was a low blow. I think, I think we should just end the match What are you now. talking about? I didn't see anything. That was an evasive maneuver and he got his knees up. If Rocky's crotch went in that area, well then that's Rocky's problem. Gabriel Eros is making his way back. Oh. And Adam Brooks! Adam Brooks! Oh my God! Eli Theseus just tripped off the apron. Here we go, Rocky Monero back in charge. Big suplex from Dad. And this is it. No, Gabriel Eros is kicked out. How does he do it? How does Gabriel Eros keep fighting? How does Gabriel Eros... Is it the adrenaline? He's desperately looking for his tag team partner. Gabriel Eros is a beast. We say it all the time. This man just keeps moving forward, keeps fighting even to his own detriment. And Eli Theseus is just seething in the corner. He wants in so bad. And he is driven Rocky Monero into Adam Brooks. This is it, Gabriel Eros has to make it back to his corner. Gabriel Eros has to tag in Eli Theseus. He can barely move. Gabriel Eros is in a world of pain and he tags in Eli Theseus. Eli flattens Adam Brooks and another one. Ducks a clothesline and delivers one of his own. Rocky Monero goes for one as well. Eli Theseus, the fresh man of the Perea. And Rocky Monero is in trouble. Vengeance is being unleashed by Eli Theseus. Absolutely wailing. But wait, there's Adam Brooks. Oh, Eli taking his eyes off the loose ledge. Adam Brooks from behind, but Eli Theseus reverses it. Huge spine buster. And Eli goes for the cover. This could be a new tag team. Brooksy too, too fresh and too ready for that still. Eli Theseus. Eli Theseus is, is pretty much on his own here. Gabriel Eros looks out still. How's Eli going to do this? Taking on the two icons, Adam Brooks and Rocky Monero. Eli stalking. Goes for a huge fit. Oh, but Brooksy. Brooksy had that one scouted. Here we go. Beautiful dive from Adam Brooks. Adam Brooks is back to his feet. Oh, you know what's coming here. DDT. Oh, no. 
Eli like, knew what was coming. Adam Brooks off the ropes. Oh, oh, but Eli meets him in the middle with a vicious right hand. Great Could move this... from Eli, a misdirection into the Superman punch. Could this be the turning point in the match? Could this be the momentum change that the Perea was looking for? Oh, Eli going up top. We don't often see this. Eli with a frog splash on Adam Brooks. We've got new tag team champions. So close, so close. But of course, the magnitude of this event, it is icons, their namesake, willing Adam Brooks on to kick out. They know how important this is. The icons making a statement tonight. Slex retaining his title. Rocky Monero and Adam Brooks wanting to do the same. And Rocky Monero also gets to his feet. But not for long as Eli Theseus introduces him to his elbow. Oh no. All caught by Adam Brooks. Boot to the face. Well, the icon's in control. Your legal man is Rocky Monero right now. Massive European uppercut. Oh, Adam Brooks. Big DDT on Eli. Adam Brooks getting so excited, wanting the pin for himself. Rocky Monero is legal though. Is he setting him up? Oh no. Oh, Eli's dead to rights right now. The icon's in control. Rocky Monero and Adam Brooks. Oh, but Gabriel Eros! Gabriel Eros back to his feet. And the Perea. We go the Pereira with the Kali Nikta. Oh, I go! Oh, Edwin, Edwin just making his way outside, stopping the count. The Pereira had this one. The Pereira had this one. Gabriel Eros now on the outside with Adam Brooks, but the legal men Eli and Rocky are both still in the ring. The Perea could have had it, but Rocky Monero kicked out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Gabriel Eros. Gabriel Eros has snapped. Gabriel Eros has got a weapon. Oh, he's gone to that other place as Gabriel Eros. Gabriel Eros is going to no. introduce a chair to the skull of you Rocky Monero. You can't do this to dad. Eli Theseus is good, saying, good. Eli seeing the light. If they want the tag team championship, they can't use a weapon. If I, you want those belts. He, this man brought them into MCW. He birthed them into Melbourne City Wrestling. He made the Perea. They know this is too much. If they want the belts, they can't use any oh, weapons. Oh. Rocky, the, the disrespect. Spitting, spitting at Eli Theseus. And Rocky Monero might have signed his own death certificate. Oh no! This is it. The Thornbury Theatre is going wild. Oh, Brooks is back. Brooks is back, oh no! Adam Brooks, Adam Brooks has got the chains. Adam Brooks. He's got some... Ch He's got chains on his boots. I don't, I don't know what you're talking he about. Had what a massive right hand from Adam Brooks. He's been working like on this. his striking. Not like this. He's been working he used on the his chain. punching power. He used the Perea's chains to... S no, not like this. Not oh. like this. The icons. Here are your winners. And still MCW tag. What a win for the Icons, retaining the tag team titles 
at their event. This is Icons, and we have the Icons in the ring. Look at the chain. The chain is in Adam Brooks's hand. Nims, what a celebration we're going to have tonight. What are you talking about? He's putting the chain on Rocky Monero as we speak. The title reigns of the Icons? I can't hear you. It's so loud. Everyone is cheering for the Icons. The Perea, a gallant, gallant defeat. They put up a hell of a fight. Lakes, what are you usual. doing? Wait a minute. Gabriel Eros. Oh, this is out of control. The Icons. The Icons and Jarvis. Jarvis. Just laying waste. Jarvis giving, giving Edwin Lay's marching orders. We don't need a ref anymore. The match is over. The Icons and Jarvis. I guess this is the after party of Icons. What's going on? We can't see it from our commentary vantage point. What's, what's Jarvis doing? Oh, no. Jarvis. Jarvis and Brooksy. Oh. It's think, a table. I think that's the table for the party. They're going to put, like, all the drinks on it and stuff. Oh, no. To celebrate the icons. The Perea. To teach the Perea a lesson, possibly. The Perea uh, in... This is not a good spot for the Perea. This is not a good spot for the Perea. This could be what the icons want, though. They've beat the Perea. They might be able to just get rid of them once and for all. Get them off their back. Get them out of their lives. Gabriel Eros. The Perea. They've, they've had a wonderful run here in MCW. but Gabriel Eros is being mugged here. But their time is done. This is Icons. Gabriel, oh! oh! Gabriel Eros has just gone through a table. Injured ribs and all. And, and Eli Thesis is helpless watching the carnage. Rocky Monero making sure Eli Theseus sees every bit of the lesson he's trying to teach his dis disrespectful kids here at MCW Icons. They're making an example. The Icons are sending out a statement to anyone that chooses to cross them. Look, the Perea, they put up a hell of a fight. They showed a lot of heart tonight. But tonight... It's all about celebrating the icons. And Rocky Monero, Slex, and Adam Brooks are all armed with chairs. That's the... Whoa! It's the natural classics! It's the natural classics! And Jarvis has not seen Tom Philippe behind him! Turn around, Jarvis! No! Oh, Tom. Tom Philippe! Tiger Bob! The Tiger strikes! And oh. Stevie Philippe. If the tiger strikes, that can only mean the Phoenix is going to fly as well. Phoenix splash. And the Natural Classics are sending a message to the icons. The Natural Classics cla just, just crashing the party. Tom Philippe's got the mic. We're starting to get sick of your bullshit! At high stakes, we're throwing all of our chips in. We're coming for your MCW Tag Team Champions! The classics, the natural classics have announced at high stakes they are going all in. The MCW titles, the tag team titles, are gonna be on the line. The Natural Classics, one of the greatest tag teams to ever come out of MCW. They want another crack at the belt. But of course, they're held by Rocky Monero, by Adam Wolf, the icons. And you see him there, along with the world champion, Slex. Oh. The Natural Classic standing tall in the ring, but what a night it was, Nim. MCW Icons, the Icons walking out still. All champions here tonight. We'll be back at the Thornbury Theatre on May the 4th for high stakes. 
Everything is on the table. What will you be willing to gamble to go to Ballroom Brawl? We will find out. And thank you for joining us on Horizon. If you want to catch up on any of the MCW back catalog, streamhorizon.com.au, the brand new home of MCW. Get your tickets now for high stakes, and we'll see you back in the Thornbury Theatre on May 4th.